Hello, Jim One here, and for this video, we are going to be going over disassembly, reassembly, and function check of the M500 shotgun. So, first, we want to verify the weapon's clear and safe. So, we can go ahead and safety, magazine tube, chamber, safety. Weapon's clear and safe. We can go ahead and continue on with the disassembly of the weapon. So, for disassembly, I first like to start out with the fore end about halfway and the bolts about halfway in the ejection port if you want to look at it that way too and we just unscrew the barrel cap we'll put that there and the barrel will slide right out there's your barrel Set that aside. next we're going to go ahead and take out the trigger group to take that out you know, remove the retaining pin the retaining pins right here you just take a punch or something pointy like a pen and push in on the retaining pin. So we want to, before we do that, make sure the safety is still on safe. We don't want it on fire. So press it right there. It'll come right out. There's your retaining pin. And now we're just going to rock out the, the trigger group. So it just rocks out like this. And now comes the trigger group. Next, I'm going to take out the leaf springs inside. There's one here and the cartridge stop is right here. I, I don't know the name of this one and I think the name of this one is a cartridge stop. So there's those two. They are inside the wall of the receiver. Next we want to take out our bolt slide. So what we're going to do, we're going to move the foreign about right there. So you can see the little square. It's a big recess. That's where you want to line up your bolt slide and the bolt slide will lift right out of that square just like that. Next we take our forehand off, just grab it, slide right off. Next we're going to go ahead and take our bolt out. This is our bolt. We're going to push it forward and it's going to come right out the front of the receiver like that. Next is our elevator. That's this thing right here. So right here. That's our elevator. That's what elevates the rounds from magazine tube up to where the chamber's at. So here's our elevator. You want to pull it down or pull it up. Pull it out just like this. Pinch it together and that comes out. So this is, as you can see on the elevator, there's these notches. Those notches goes in these holes right here. And that is your complete disassembly. So go over some nomenclature a little bit. Here's your buttstock, your safety, your ejector is in here. It's what's actually screwed down inside the receiver, your magazine tube. Your magazine tube should not twist. It should be tight and should not be twisting. If it is, tighten it down. You don't want to take the magazine tube off. And that's the receiver. Here's your bolts. Here's your extractors. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said this was the ejector. If I didn't, that's your ejector. Here's your extractors, your firing pins in there too. You do not take the bolt apart. You already went over that. One of these is the cartridge stop, and that's the one without the little notch on here. I forget the one, the one with the notch is called, but there's one with the notch, one without the notch, and that is the one without the notch is the cartridge stop. Here's your bolt slide. Your trigger group, do not take your trigger group apart either. Just clean it, don't take apart the trigger group. Here's your forend. And here's your barrel, here's your bead sight. And this is the chamber. All right, let's put it back together now. So first, we're gonna put our elevator in. The elevator goes in like this. It's gonna go inside just like that. You know, I'm putting it upside down like this. This is. See if I can get it. There we go. This is incorrect. This is correct. So I'm gonna pinch it, put it in there, and open, let it open up on its own, and it'll find its home in the little hole. So once we're there, I'm gonna push the elevator down all the way. I'm gonna get our bolt. So on the bolt, it goes in like this. This locking lug goes toward the top of the receiver, just like that. So when you're working upside down, which is how I usually work when I put the weapon back together, think of this as the heavy stone. The heavy stone is going down toward the top 
of the receiver. So it's going to go in just like that, with the locking lug toward the top of the receiver. And we want to put that about halfway inside the receiver. We don't want it all the way back, we don't want it all the way forward, halfway. Next, I'm going to put our 4 in four inside. So, right here, these little arms, they go on, it goes on like this. You don't want it upside down, because this part protects your hand. So, if there's a gap right here toward the bottom that isn't correct, you want that gap toward the top, because you want all the plastic on the bottom to protect your, to protect your hand. So you're going to put that in, and as you can see, there's little holes for these arms to go into. So you're going to put the arms into the little holes. And sometimes this happens where it goes in and it stops. If it stops, all you got to do is lift up on the arms, and then it'll slide in, just like that. So we want the forend halfway as well, and bolts halfway. And I'm going to show you how this all comes together real quick. Because it's kind of tricky, you're lining up three things at once. So your bolt's in here, and then you're going to put your uh, bolt slide in, because that slides the bolt in there. So this little claw goes inside this little notch right here in the bolt, like that, so it can move it and manipulate it. But at the same time, you got these notches on the foreign arms, and you want to put that where there's the notch on the bolt slide. And as you can see, it lines up. So you want to get all three of those to line up inside the receiver just like that. So they'll all manipulate together. And it can be tricky at first. So practice it a few times, you'll get it. So bolts. Horn, horn. So right there, halfway. Your bolt slide right down where the recess is, and then you kind of just fiddle around with the bolts and the horn until you get it right. And the way you know you get it right is you're gonna press down with your thumb on the bolt slide, and you can manipulate all three. So you can see the bolt moving back and forth, and you can see the four, the four end moving back and forth, just like that. So, once you have that, you want to push it about almost into battery. So your bolt's going to be about right there. That way, if you do accidentally bump it or something happens, it's not all going to fall apart. See, it won't come apart. It's all staying in one spot. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and get these leaf springs. So you got your cartridge stop. And the other one, the other one with the notch goes where this hole is. So that little notch goes in that hole, pretty simple. And the hooks, they're always in, inboard. So this hook is going to go inboard right here. And a hook for the cartridge stop, there's that hook. It's going to go inboard as well, right there. So you're going to put those in, just like that. And then from here, what I like to do, I take my two fingers, stick it right there and spread them apart. So I make my fingers do the splits to hold those leaf springs in place. Because what we're going to do next is going to put the trigger group in and sometimes that'll knock them out of place. So if you're holding them, it won't get knocked out of place. And the trigger group goes in, and I'll show you real quick, take these out because they'll just get in the way. The trigger group goes in like an AK-47 magazine. There's these little notches on it. Put it in right there and then you rock it in, just like that. So right here, and rocks in. So I'll put these back inside. All right, here. Oop, wrong way, there we go. One's there, the other's there. And make my fingers do the splits. Take my trigger group, like an AK-47 mag, put it right here, and then rock it in. Once it's in, you just take your retaining pin, go ahead and place it in the hole, and press down, and it should slide in. You shouldn't have to force it in. And then you're going to feel on both sides to make sure it's smooth, and it's not protruding out more on one side more than the other. 
So that's back together. We can go ahead and put the barrel back on, just like we took it off, put the fore in, bolt or bolt, whichever way you want to look at it, halfway. Put the barrel on, make sure that this little ring here goes around the magazine tube, just like that. Once it's in, then we can put the barrel cap back on, barrel retaining cap, and we want to just make it about finger tight. You don't want to gorilla tighten it down because it's going to be a pain in the butt to take apart. So just finger tight and we got the weapon back together. Now that we have the weapon back together, we need to do a function check. Make sure we put it back together correctly. So we're going to put the fore end all the way forward and we're going to try and rack it back. It shouldn't go back because the bolt should have the locking lug up and it should be in battery. And it's not doing that, which is good. So next we want to check the safety. Make sure the safety is on, pull the trigger. Nothing happens, that's good. I'm going to take the safety off, pull the trigger, and it should fire. And it does. So what we're going to do now is hold the trigger to the rear and rack it. Then we're going to slowly let go of the trigger and we should hear the sear disconnect. We'll hear and feel it. There's that click. That means my sear disconnect is working and it's good. Then we're going to put it back on safe and we're going to make sure everything's nice and smooth. So we're going to go ahead and press down on the action release lever. And we're going to rack it two, three times. And when we're doing that, we're just making sure everything's nice and smooth and it's not getting caught up in anything. So if everything is good, that completes the function check. So that completes our video. I went over disassembly, reassembly, and the function check of the M500 shotgun. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.